The European Poker Tour is back in Ireland. For five days, more than 600 poker enthusiasts have tried to channel the luck of the Irish in the EPT Dublin main event. Six talented title hopefuls have emerged from the pack. But one stands out amongst the rest. Dimitri, the Polish guy. He's a beast. I think he's most experienced. I think the biggest threat at the table is Dimitri, for sure. But he has all the chips. It's going to be a lot harder to win this one. Can anyone stop the Polish prodigy? Winning this event is going to be way better than all of the rest, because it's more prestigious. I hope I can do it. So here we are again. The first EPT in Dublin since 2007. In 2007, I was $40,000 in credit card debt. What? What about now? Now much better. Got it down to 35. Well, big cash monies await the winner of the main event. The final six include a local lad and a couple of Brits. But all eyes are on Dmitry Urbanovich. He's got all the chips. He was player of the year last season. Honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't already won a main event. Yes, Abanovich is certainly the odds-on favorite coming into this final, and he's fired up. It's amazing. I've never had such a deep run, so I'm pretty happy about that. Having a cheap lead gives you more space to do something, so I'm happy to be cheap lead. It's very good. Nobody has won an EPT in their home country for three years. Irish pro Patrick Clark hopes to break that streak today. To win this title would be unbelievable, especially on home soil. And there's going to be a nice rail, so you'll see plenty of drunken Irish people. Hopefully I can bring it home for all of them. It'd mean everything to me. There should also be plenty of support for Cully Sadu. He came eighth in London in season 10, and he's feeling good about his second EPT final table. Chips-wise, I have like eight times more than I had last time at the final table. So I think a lot of players will fear me. Gilles Verniers is the last remaining non-pro, and he has one fear, that this will be his only chance for poker glory. I'm so lucky to reach the final table now. So I guess the professional players would call it like a one-shot or something like that. <laughs> Greek pro Iliodorus Kamatakis is well known for his live poker streams. And he's sick and tired of hearing that this is a young man's game. First of all, we have to run 10 kilometers to see who is young and who is not. I have big experience, so we see. Rhys Jones also has big experience online, but a small stack. This is already his best live result to date. I've probably played more online than live in the last few years. My edge with this current stack is not going to be huge, but if I get a good stack, I fancy my chances. And cards are already in the air here at the PokerStars.com EPT Dublin final table. First to act, Gilles Berniers, online qualifier, only non-pro at this final table. It's his first ever EPT, hi. Dmitry Ivanovich, ace, 10 of clubs. This kid won all the side events last year, not even old enough to play in Vegas. He's a bit of a wonder kid. He's raised it to 110,000. Folded around to Reese Jones, the short stack in the big blind. Well, Jones is dominated with ace nine. Hold on. But he's going with it. He shoves. Ace ten is probably the bottom end of Dimitri's calling range, but I think he goes for it. Come on, they're suited. Another six hundred and ten thousand to call, and he does call. No time for love, Dr. Jones. Good luck, guys. Reese Jones at risk and behind. Domination Nation Urbanovich. So he could be down to five unless Jones gets lucky. Nice. 
Oh, a 10 high flop. Now less than a 1% chance of survival for Jones. He's gonna have to get real lucky. That's not a very good flop. <laughs> Understatement of the year. A little bit of hope oh. on the turn. Nine of clubs, all the nine of spades. Works for Reese Jones. Two cards can save him. He doesn't right. hit. Okay. Three again. Game up. Game up. And Reese Jones is eliminated. Game up. Game up. Oh, Dimitri, you barely not teenager, you. The Polish pro who dominated season 11 of the EPT up to six million in chips. While Reese Jones cashes for 119,450 euros. So five players remain, all now guaranteed more than 152,000 euros. Up top, more than half a million, 561,900 to be precise. So Ivanovic has stepped away from the table for a second. Actions on Kali Sadu in the cutoff. He's got a six. It's a raise from late position to 110,000. Kamatakis on the button with Jack 10 suited. This guy, Kamatakis, he's a real hoot. Streams poker online, brings the average age on that site up to almost 19. He re raises. It's a three bet to 310,000. It looks like he seems pretty intent on proving he can run with the big dogs. Action is back on Sidhu. Good morning. He shoves on Kamatakis. Oh. I'm gonna assume Kali's got some kind of read on the Greek because this is a little nutso for that many chips. I wasn't that crazy about this three bet in the first place and this is exactly why. Billy Chataway, front and center of the Kali Sidhu supporters section. I really like this Iliadoras guy, but he needs to make like a tree and fold. Eh? Anywho. Kamatakis passes. And Sadu shows a card. No, oh, the six. Six is not good there. Kalima. Kalima. Kalima, Shatide. Meanwhile, Mustafa Kanat has just showed up to collect his 25k high roller trophy. Cooley. Let's go, Cooley. Let's go. <laughs> Cully finished second to Mustafa in a high roller in Barcelona, so I'm not sure if that was real or a needle. Blinds are up to 30,000, 60,000. Local boy Patrick Clark has King 10 under the gun. Patio Clark, let's do this. The 2014 Irish Open winner raises to 140k. Elias Kamatakis is now the short stack. He folds the button. Gil Bernier's. In the small blind, has a dominating hand, King Queen. Does he look familiar to you? I kind of want to call him Steve No Dwyer. Looks like he's hyperventilating. Why is he breathing like that? What is the altitude of Dublin? Someone get him a paper bag. Well, he's called the race. Ivanovic has folded the big blind. We're going heads up to the flop. Well, there's a king. And a ten. Top pair for Bernius, but two pair for Clark. Sick from dominated to dominating. And can we get this guy a scuba tank? Action check to the pre-flop aggressor. Clark continues with the best hand. Observed by his girlfriend, Kelsey Goodman. More like Kelsey Goodwoman. Hashtag everyday sexism. Bernie continues with the breathing and calls the 175,000. Top pair, awesome kicker, got a call. Four diamonds puts a potential flush out there. Can you brief? Can you brief? checks for a second time and Clark checks behind come on dude you gotta bet that and it's a queen on the river Bernie is now with a better two pair King Queen should probably bet now no he checks for a third time 
Looks like Clark's gonna go for value. 425,000. Kelsey, I'm sorry. This should be a snap call. As soon as he catches his breath. There's the call. And Clark will see he got rivered. <sighs> Nailed it. That's the saddest I've seen a group of Irish people since the time Bonner went vegan. So Jill Burney is the German amateur building a stack, but possibly in need of medical attention. What is going on with this dude's breathing? Tag your tweets. Hello, my babies. Want to listen to more of my jokes and embarrassing stories without poker getting in the way? Subscribe to EPT Not Live on iTunes or download it from soundcloud.com slash EPT Not Live. There's guests, competitions, online dating. You can even get some behind the scenes gossip on the show you're watching right now. That's right, more layers than an advanced Rubik's Cube, which has two layers. More layers than that. EPT Not Live. It's all action here at the Pokestars.com EPT Dublin main event. Moments ago, Ilios Kamatakis made a move against Gilles Berniers. Unbelievable. And after a long breath or two, the German amateur made the call. Call. Your thing to fall day squeak? Nice game. Kamatakis is out, and the online qualifier is now second in chips. Blinds are still 30,000, 60,000. It's Gilles who's posted the big blind here, and I tell you what, Joe, let's play along with the amateur. We're only going to see his cards. We are going to sweat with Gilles. He's already out of breath. Why not sweat with him? Nabanovic is first to act. He folds. Clark's out. Down to the small blind, Kali Sadu, eighth place finisher at EPT 10 London. Ooh. He raises to 175k. So Gilles' hand is ace deuce of hearts. A call here would be totally standard. He does call. The flop. Is ace high, ace nine tray. Well, against just the small blind, I like our hand a lot. No C bet from Sidhu. Having said that, there's not much to protect against and not much we can get value from. Shield checks behind. Seven on the turn. After we check back the flop, there's lots of hands to do with bet here. Into a pot of 390,000, he makes it 260,000. But I still think a flat call is just about our only move. He, he's gonna get there. There's the call. The river card is a five. Morning. And Sadu shoves! Such a big bet. Wow. Nearly 1.5 million into 910,000. Sadu's not really supposed to be bluffing here. I liked her hand at first. I no longer like it. Everything's normal now that he's facing it all in. That's kind of weird. Chaz Chatter on the left has joined Kali Sadu's rail. I call. Shield calls. Two pair. Two pair is good. Kali's hand, ace five. Like a rambly voicemail, that was not a great call. 
Maka was wrong. I guess you could say that rail is anything but melancholy. Nice hand. Thank you. So a much needed double up for Cully Sadu. And now it is really close between him, Patrick Clark, and Gilles Berniers. Abanovich still leads with a stack of 7.3 million. As the blinds go up, new level, 40,000, 80,000, with a 10,000 ante. Now's when the real poker starts. Action folded around to the blinds. Gilles Bernier is in the small. Ace Queen suited. Seven points go. Dimitri's getting annoyed with Johnny Lamaze over there, but he's no amateur at having great friends. Meets Ven and Nick. Bernie is limps in. Abanovich has got pocket eights. This is kind of a cooler blind versus blind, especially since these are the two biggest stacks. I think Darth Vader's going to see a raise from Abanovich. <laughs> I wonder if he has the bends. 300,000. Counting out a re-raise. He three bets to 905,000. Bernier's limps three bets. Dimitri's gonna know he's got a big one, but eights are probably too big to fold. I'm on in. Abanovich shoves. And his breath is caught. Not normal. Caught. Bernie's calls, and we're off to the races. Like Bono versus Sinead O'Connor, one of these two hands has the slight mathematical advantage. It's a coin flip that Bernie's needs to win to survive. Ace! Yeah, I'm almost out Come on, Ace! The flop. It's king, seven, five. Eight still ahead. Six immediate outs for Gilles Berniers. <laughs> the turn card is an ace. No, man, classics, Ben. Berniers doubles up, unless there's an eight on the river. It's a jack. Weekend at Bernier's. And that hand means that Gilles has taken the chip lead from Dimitri. He's the new final table boss. And he is fired up. It's some car gigging in. Yeah, it's this all. It's some car gigging in. Oh. Abanovich down to 3.3 million. Gilles Bernier's up to nearly 8 million. I'm afraid his heart might explode. Well, curiosity got the better of us. We had to ask the online qualifier why he's always so short of breath. Because I'm nervous every hand I play. That moment, I feel like I want to die. I qualified and it's my first DPT. If you don't have such skill like the other players, you just maybe need a bit more time and you need to think twice or three times about what you're gonna do. Well, it's exhausting, really, it's so tough. I'm a student, I study, I have a part-time job, and poker, it's just uh, one of my hobbies. I don't have a lot of friends who play poker. For them, it's like, what is he doing there? But for sure, they support me. They don't know what I do. I also don't know what I do sometimes, but I reached the last six players with luck. So maybe I'm going to be more lucky to, to win this. Turns out he's more scared than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Huh. 
Action here is on Dmitry Ivanovich. With Jack Nine off, he raises to 180,000. Pocket fives for Patrick Clark. Patrick is the shortest stack, but he's still got over 30 big blinds, so I don't think he has to rip it in here. He calls on the button. Kali Sadu folds the small blind. Shiel Bernier's with ace three of spades in the big blind. Getting a great price. It's less fun to make fun of his breathing now that I know he's terrified. <laughs> he calls. And we've got three-way action. The flop is king, ten, deuce. Clark still has the best hand. The Banovich with a gut shot. Bernie is with a couple of backdoor draws. Yeah, I kind of like our Banovich here. Best draw and probably the best shot at winning this hand with a bet. He continues for 235,000. Gets the best hand to fold. Bernie is not done with this. He check raises to 605k. While I'm somewhat impressed with the aggression, I'm not sure that any better hands would actually fold here. It's kind of random. I don't know if Ace Queen would even fold. Wow. What sorcery is Sven employing to keep that drink in the air? Sven Golly. Now, if you're an amateur who's terrified to the point of hyperventilation every hand, you're probably perfectly content to fold out the worst hand on the flop, so I actually do understand this. He does get a fold. And he's now playing around 10 million. As he gets the better of the most accomplished player at the table. Whoops. Lines are up to 50,000, 100,000 with a 10,000 ante. Action on Gilles. He's on the button. And he's got queens. I guess the one advantage of breathing like the maniac on the other end of the phone every single hand is that no one knows if you've ever got an actual hand that warrants it. Two hundred and twenty-five K from Hufflepuff. Ace deuce for Clark, the shorty in the bag. All in. He shoves. Call. And gets called. Clark is behind, but all it takes is an ace. <laughs> We've all been there. A lot of support here in Dublin for the last remaining Irishman. Ace ball, one time. <laughs> yeah. Do it for Ireland. Do it for Kathy Ireland. Come on. Don't worry, Gilles. Nick and Sven are still on your side. Everyone else is calling for an ace. Here comes the flop. There's a queen. Two clubs, and Clark has the ace of clubs. Man, 5% equity seems high. It's very likely to be zero on the turn. My nerves are already there. The turn card is another club. <laughs> we have ourselves a sweat. Just needs a club or in a certain four color deck, a three leaf clover. Eight out. All of Ireland calling for a club. Any club but the five. It's a spade. And Patrick Clark is out in fourth. Boom. Boom. <laughs> well done, well done. Sorry. No, I, you played very nice, really. Ah. A local lad cashes for nearly 200 grand. No pot of gold, but maybe a pint of stout. Meanwhile, Bernie's is up to nearly 13 million. He has a stranglehold on this tournament. So our online qualifier's incredible journey continues, and you could play in an EPT main event. Qualify now at PokerStars.com.
Three remain at the Pokestars.com EPT Dublin final table, following the elimination of local lad Patrick Clark. At least he's now free to enjoy Dublin's nightlife. Including Dublin's very own Hardigans, where every Thursday is Smack That Booty Night, and the drinks aren't the only thing that's half off. So is that your idea, or...? Sadly, I am not affiliated in any way with Hartigan's Pub, nor can I claim credit for the Smack That Booty promotion. Lies. Well, let's get three-handed action started, shall we? We got a proposition for you. Which? What do you think about even chop? What? What does it mean? That we... Yeah, like 420 each. Put all the prices together and divided by three, and <laughs> everyone gets in no, the same. No. But no? Why? No, yeah, you get the trophy. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. No, no. No, no? I play for fun, so... You play for fun? You play for fun. Okay. Let's have some fun. You no, know, I mean, fun, eh? it's... You know, I don't live from poker, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'm just ask him. Yeah, 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 sure. Nice try, guys. Not like this guy just fell off the back of the turnip yeah. truck. Right. We have just big plans. Oops. Babanovich just folded out of turn, confused by the fact there's no small blind in this hand. See, everybody does it sometimes, even the geniuses. All in. Then he shoves. So do calls. I've only got an ace, but let's see. Wow, that is a huge call. Two overs. Or... So do is lucky to be racing. Funfa. Yeah. I'm not sure how many worse hands Bernier's would be shoving, but maybe Cully figured the amateur didn't want to play post flop. Yeah. He folded out a turn, you see. Sadu so theorizing that Berniers was taking advantage of Ivanovic's mistake. The flop. There's Jack 7 4 with one heart. Five for a sweat. Hearts may be a better sweat. I would agree with a five. Five a heart. Not. No five a heart, is it? No. The turn is a deuce, no additional outs. Kali Sadu needs an ace or a six to survive. He has six outs. The uh, heart's no good, bruh. The river is a deuce. Fives hold. Played. Well played. Again played, well played. Kali Sadu out in third. Good stuff, bro. Boy, you'll be all right, man. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. We'll celebrate tonight, all right. Let's get you drunk. Good luck, sir. Wow, you play amazing, really. You play I amazing, too. Yeah, yeah. Really, it's an honor for me to play with you, also. I mean, Thank wow. You. Good I... luck. You destroy me. We're down to two. The trophy's in sight, and we're going heads up. I have heads up experience, uh, live events. I guess I have to adjust my game. This last time I was second. I would say I have almost no experience and I'm nervous. I'm playing to win, but I expected long battle because of his time for decision. You can't imagine how it feels, right? I mean, I feel like a fish in a shark cage. Sure, Cage Seasons 1 and 2 now available online. But seriously, though, folks, if you're going to go into heads up in an EPT with almost no experience whatsoever, better to do it with a 4 to 1 chip lead. Yeah, this might be an uphill battle for Obanovic. Blind still 50 100. And his first to speak on the button in the small blind. King 8 offsuit. Looks like he knows enough to raise most of his buttons. 250,000. 10-9 for Urbanovic. He defends. The flop. Gives Bernie his second pair, but Urbanovic has the nuts. A straight to the jack. Flops the joint. Checks to the razor. Unfortunately for Bernie, the pair is going to be good here a lot. He continues for 200,000. Check would have worked fine there, but it looks like Bernays wanted to go for max value and protection. Also fine. That's a check raise from Ibanovic. 650,000 total. And again, unfortunately for Bernays, this raise would be a semi bluff quite often. So 
So after the trademark deep breaths, we get the call. The turn card is the seven of clubs pairing the board. That gives Gilles a few outs. He can boat up now. Ivanovic took the betting lead on the flop. He barrels the turn, 915,000. Love this sizing by Dimitri. Really seems like he knows he can get a lot of value out of this spot. If he were a semi-bluffing flop, he'd still be semi-bluffing now. Bernier's counts out the call. Makes the call, we're going to the river. 3.6 million in the middle. Abanovic, the effective stack with 1.8 million. A five on the river changes nothing. I'm in. Abanovic shoves. We don't need another hero. <laughs> well, you really can't blame him if he calls here. Dimitri's supposed to have a ton of missed draws in this spot. He wouldn't be doing this with just a jack and probably not just some random seven either. Call. He makes the hero call! That should be shown, right? Flopped it. Nice flop. Banovic gets the full double up through Bernius. Sven, it's okay. He's still got the lead. Give me zero credit, right? <laughs> it's the main event, heads up. I cannot do stupid things. Yeah, well... Bernie is still with the chip advantage, but Abanovic has narrowed the gap significantly. Well, Joe, it's time for you to step inside Abanovic's brain. We're gonna sweat with Dimitri on this hand. Looking forward to it. This kid could do anything except have a legal drink in America. Well, he's raised with 8-5 of spades. Gilles is counting out a raise. He makes it 575,000. Urbanovich is not folding. He's Polish, he's no fish, and he's in position. Couldn't make it work for suited. That's a call. So 1.17 million in the pot already. The flop. It's King Jack 8 with two spades. Bottom pair and a flush draw for Ivanovic. I mean, you really can't ask for a better flop than that. I think he almost smiled even. Bernier's continues. 625,000. How much? I would probably just call here in case Bernier's is just messing around. If you do anything more than that, you can get away from it. That's a raise to 1.475 million. Now, is this a raise with the intention of folding if Bernier shoves? I doubt it. I think if he does have it, we're going to see it go in here. And if that happens, we are probably behind. What do you think, Sven? All in. There's the shove and a call. Not much, but but. We, yeah, I'll say it's better. We are not behind. Nice hand. Bernius has four deuce. Well, that was wrong, but this time it's in a good way. Yeah, I don't get it either, guys. You better tell your boy to jeel out. Well, the turn is a seven. That means Bernius is drawing dead. Nice hand. Thank you. Abanovic doubles up and reclaims the chip lead. I think Bernier's lack of experience is starting to show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, four juice. Love the attitude, though. You're going to be rich either way. At least everybody knows now that I'm fish, you know? Don't worry, dude. Dimitri's a 20-year-old millionaire. He thinks everybody's a fish. My name is Dmitry Urbanovic. I'm 20. I live in Poland. I think I'm in good form right now. One for side events at Malta. 
three times in a row final table at Super High Rollers, at Monte Carlo, Barcelona and Prague. Being EPT Player of the Year is uh, like very, very good. Before I was unknown and now people know me in the poker world. It's kind of strange, but I guess I like that. My game is good. When you run good, you believe. The winning this event is going to be way better than all of the rest because it's more prestigious. It's main event, it's the biggest competition, I guess. So it's my goal. Hold your horses there, buddy. Bernier's is an EDM DJ, so you know he's used to laying down some sick beats. Well, Gilles has got deuces here. You saw what he did with four deuce. What about deuce deuce? He raises to 300,000. King Trey of Diamonds for Ivanovic. That's a call. The flop. Get it together, guy. I, you know, I've been biting my tongue all day. X96. <laughs> I'm sorry. Deuce is good still. And Bernie's will make a C bet of 300,000. Continuing. I wonder if he'll just blast off again. Ivanovic calls. King High would be beating plenty. The turn card is the Deuce of Diamonds, a set for Bernie's. Tricky. And Abanovich has picked up a flush draw. Well, I suppose Bernier's will be blasting off now, or blasting on. I don't know what you want to call it. Roughly half pot, 600,000. Well, now Dimitri's got the nut flush draw. What is he going to do? Nothing. You got to call it. You got to support the troops. You got to call it and you have the nut flush draw. Throws in six 100k chips as we go to the river. Sven, you're going to want to see this. It's red, but it's a heart, leaving Dimitri with just king high. Whiffer, whiffer, chicken sniffer. He checks. Pretty safe board to go for value with a set of deuces. And go for value, he will. To the tune of 1.1 million. Now, the best indicator of future behavior is past behavior, meaning Gilles might just be punting here again, as far as Dimitri's concerned. <sighs> I hear you, brah. I think Dimitri might just be overthinking this, though. He's only got king high. We saw Gilles make a bad hero call earlier. Is Dimitri going to follow in his footsteps? Yes! King high, no good. No, oh, I love turning a set. And Bernius is back in this thing. This one's for you, Sven. Ah, he looked at me. That's a big loss for Ivanovic. And the stacks are almost level. The tables have turned again in this duel in Dublin, with Dmitry Obanovic losing the chip lead to amateur player Gilles Berniers. The Polish pro will need to stay focused to avoid another heads-up defeat on the PokerStars.com EPT. Urbanovic lost heads-up to Eric Seidel on a super high roller after having a massive chip lead. He did not take it well. I think mostly because he wasn't over the fact that Zayn had left one direction. Blinds are up to 60,000, 120,000 with a 20,000 ante. Gilles, the German qualifier, has ace 10. Oh, we raising. We raising it. We California raising it. I heard it through the grapevine. Gotta breathe a bit first, though. <laughs> 300,000. Ivanovic with 4 3 of clubs calls. Flop is Jack Five Deuce, so Ivanovic is up and down. Let's check the action to Bernius. Who checks behind? 
So Bernie has pairs his 10 on the turn. Abanovich now has a flush draw to go with his straight draw. That was his only live pair he could hit. Abanovich leads for 400,000. Trying to win this with a semi bluff. Now's Bernie is going to respond with second pair top kicker. He raises to a million. Don't know that I would have raised there, but in this exact instance, he's picked a good spot to charge Dimitri to draw. Banovich calls the raise. We're going to see another card. The river is the five of hearts pairing the board. Such a brick, the third little pig could have built a house with it. Well, he semi-bluffed the turn. It's a pure bluff on the river. And quite a small bet, 425,000. You think Bernie Ace is going to huff and puff and blow the house down? Seems like a pretty easy just call. In. Wow, he shoves on Urbanovich. Dangerous shove. What if he had it? He didn't have it, and he folded. Show one. You will see. Show now. Nice try, you lovable little scamp, you. Well, after winning that pot, Bernius has increased his advantage over the pro. 11.8 million plays 6.3 million. He's made a few mistakes, but luckily he hasn't stepped in it too badly yet. Six four of diamonds. And just a call. Ivanovich with ace tray. Checks. He gets to underwrap his hand now. He looks a little vexed. Well, how about this for a flop? Trips for Ivanovic, flush draw for Bernier's. Dimitri leads for 150,000. I think this lead will get a lot of fold, but Bernier's has a draw he can't fold. He calls. The turn card. Ten of spades. Abanovich now a huge favorite. He's 84% to win this hand. He both loves his hand and is in love with his hand. He fires again. 415,000. Bernie is still playing his draw. And he's going to semi-bluff with it. He raises to 1.4 million. He is really banking on Dimitri not having an ace. Probably wonders why Dimitri would lead the flop and not just check. Abanovich responds with a three bet. 2.4 million. Not really sure what's going on here, but we know Bernie Ace is not afraid to get it in, and I think Dimitri is trying to induce him to do just that. Sven, hold on to your potatoes. All in. There's the shove and the call. Showdown with one card to come. The call. Yeah. Bernie has seven outs, seven cards he can hit to win the EPT Dublin main event. It's a nice spot to be in, but generally when you are in this spot, you do want a better than 16% chance of getting there. Abanovich set for the double up, unless Bernier's hits a diamond. Crucially, not the three of diamonds or the 10 of diamonds. The river card is a diamond, but it pairs the board. Honestly, it fooled me too. A full house for Abanovich. Aye, aye, aye. Nice answer. Ah. Nice river. Yeah. What a waste of making a flush. And it seems like Sven is the only one who truly understands the gravity of this situation. Yeah, Abanovich is in command of this tournament once again. 
Much to the delight of the Polish rail. Bet these guys wouldn't accidentally celebrate. Urbanovich, now monster chip leader, as the blinds go up to 80,000, with a 25k ante. Then he is on the button with Queen 7. All in. He shoves. I call. And Urbanovic calls. I'm just kings. Bernie's has run into kings. The shove from Bernie's is oh. probably fine, but it's pretty close mathematically. <laughs> now it's Urbanovic who's on the verge of winning this tournament. There's an 88% chance it happens. <laughs> now I'm not sure how much more this Fen can take. A rare, real smile. The flop has a seven on it. He's got outs. Queen of spades. Queen of spades, let's go. Five outs for Bernie's. <laughs> right, just king can finish. The turn card is a nine. She'll need a queen or a seven. Urbanovic on the verge of victory. The river card is a nine. He's done it! The EPT 11 Player of the Year wins his first main event title here in Dublin. And Gilles can finally breathe a sigh of relief. It was an incredibly entertaining heads-up battle. Unlucky to the online qualifier Gilles Bernier's, but still an incredible result for him and a very deserving winner in Dmitry Urbanovich. Dmitry Urbanovich, it feels like we've been waiting for you to win a main event forever, but you've been on the scene for like a minute. Has it seemed like a long time to you? For me, it's like two years, because I was dreaming to be the youngest uh, EPT winner, and it take me like two years to do it. So, uh, I mean, it's not the worst case scenario for me. You made a ridiculous comeback in this heads up and it seemed like from what we've seen before we've seen you have some pretty big losses heads up it seemed like you had a little bit to prove this time around and uh, not really I just did a side style and that's it I uh, learned from him and what I was go uh, what I was doing here tonight at heads up well guys let's get a big round of applause for EPT 12 Dublin champion Dmitry Urbanovich <laughs> Dublin will have a special place in my heart. Uh, I'm pretty happy I got the title. I got the plane in six hours, so I got like four or five hours to celebrate and party. What do you think about even chop? No. I, I play for fun. You play for fun? Okay. Have some fun. EPT Dublin main event champion Dmitry Urbanovich. I'm really, really happy. I finally won it. Dreams come true, you know.